Hey there, Nurse Awesome. Today we're going to start this series about using the nursing process to study pharmacology. Remember we talked about that the other day. Um, I want for you guys to know this is the first video. I'm going to try to make these really short, like five minutes or less. So here we go. Um, pharmacology is one of those areas that really largely depends upon rote memorization from a flashcard or however else you should happen to memorize data well. Um, in order to root the concepts in your head, however, in a way that's super meaningful and will allow them to stay with you through testing in the future and the NCLEX and most importantly when you get into a patient room, um, you really need to be able to have those things kind of anchored in some way in your brain. And this is why we use the ADPI process, right? So first things first, um, assessment, right? That's the very first step for nurses all the time. Assessing is what we do first. So when you look at a particular drug, think about why that drug is being given. What's the disease that this drug is meant to treat? Um, what assessment data would you gather based on that particular problem or issue that your patient's having? For example, if you're giving someone Lasix, what assessment data would you expect to gather? If you're giving someone morphine, what assessment data would you expect to gather? What signs and symptoms does your drug treat? Make sense? Also, you want to think about what side effects might your drug cause. Those will be something you see on your second assessment or reassessment. You could even call that your evaluation that you do in the nursing process, right? So if I give Lasix to someone, I would expect to see them have a significant increase in urine output provided that they don't have kidney failure, right? That's what I would expect. Do I see that? That's um, data worth noting and reporting to the physician if it's a little bit wonky or different from what I expect. So you get the point. Assessing your patient can help you with the action of the drug, it can help you with the indication of the drug, the therapeutic use, the pharmacological use of that particular drug. That happens in the assessment phase of the ADPI process. So if we move on to the diagnosis phase now, um, look here just what things would you consider to be um, common areas that you need to help them with if they should have this particular drug given to them. Um, what um, would you see if you gave someone Lasix, for example, where well, they're going to have to go to the restroom a lot more, right? So you would expect to have to support that as their nurse if they don't have a Foley catheter, correct? Correct. So think about the things that you will do. Those are your nursing considerations based upon the diagnosis that you give them based upon the um, actual reason that you gave the drug. So now we're going to make a plan. That's the P in our ADPI process, right? So you can obviously think about the five rights. You need to plan for those. Um, if they are not able to take anything by mouth, and some of their medications are PO meds, and they do not have a PEG tube, a G, you know, G tube, J tube, uh, NG tube, some other method to get oral medication into their digestive system, then you need to do something about that, right? You need to call the doctor and get a different route. Um, are there other drugs that you need to consider before you actually give this drug? Is the route correct? Is the dosage correct? So you see you can get things um, from the flashcards into your brain based off of what plan you make. And the plan is based off of the actual assessment data that you gathered and what this drug is actually going to do, right? Okay, so I know you guys, that makes sense to you. So now we're going to actually implement this particular drug, right? We're going to give it to our patient. So do you need to do something first? Um, how do you plan to give that medication? Do you need to do something before that? What's the timing? How does that affect this whole um, administration of this particular drug? Do you need to give it with saline? Do you need to take a BP first? Do you need to look at a potassium value on the lab first? Yeah, we would do that with Lasix, right? Do you need to um, prepare in some way before you implement the drug? And then you're going to look at, obviously, how you give it, right? Um, that's pretty simple. Then we're going to evaluate what we did. Um, you have to evaluate everything you do as a nurse and see whether or not it was effective, beneficial, um, whether or not there's some other side effect that you need to plan for or do something about, right? 
So you could see it's really easy to kind of anchor a lot of those thoughts in your brain if you'll use the app high process when you're studying drugs. Okay, so for some of you that sounds like really a lot of work and you know, if you think about it, it takes a minute to do that. But you've already got all that information written down on the drug cards. You've already got the action and, and the indication and the half-life and the typical dose and the contraindications and the nursing considerations and the teaching and the evaluation and the side effects. You have all of it already written on your little drug card, right? This is just a different way to think about it that's going to let you keep it long-term so that when you're standing in front of your patient that is taking Lasix, you can actually know, oh, hey, I need to check their potassium level first. And if you see a potassium that's like 3.3, you're not going to give Lasix to them without also replacing potassium. Or if you, you know, give Lasix to them, you know, hey, they don't have a Foley cast, so I better prepare some time. Or I better tell my patient care tech that they're going to need to prepare some time to help this patient to the restroom a lot because I'm about to give them Lasix. Okay, uh, enough for me about this. Um, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be like on medications. And we're actually going to take some common medications and we're going to break them down in the ADPI process so that you can see what in the Sam Hill I'm talking about, right? We're going to do some on PRN medications, um, pain medications, probably um, antibiotics, insulins, most definitely blood pressure medications, hypertensive drugs, because those are really common. You're going to give those a lot. So it's super important that you get them rooted in your brain so that you can kind of reach in there months and months from now when you're actually in the real life world of nursing and know what to do to protect your patient. All right, so I hope you guys have a great week. I am going to do the same and I will chat with you soon. Peace y'all.